Hello and welcome to the second part of the file uh, uploading lesson. Uh, is that right? Um, in this part of the tutorial, we're going to actually um, clarify if the file type or the file size is uh, less than what we want it to be, and uh, we're going to upload the file. So let's move on, shall we? Okay, so we've done the, um, everything already. I'm sure you've just skipped straight onto the second part of the tutorial. So let's crack on. Okay, so if they haven't, if the file type is not equal to any of these, it's going to display this and it's going to go no further because we don't want to upload the file um, if it's the wrong file type. Okay, so next what we want to do is test the size. So if size, what we've got already, is less than, whoops, less than or equal to, and we've got a number, I'm going to let it be um, 100 kilobytes okay maximum so what do we need we need a hundred and then one two three after it so it's a hundred thousand which equals hundred kilobytes and obviously you could do a, a megabyte or, or whatever you want but I'm just gonna do a hundred kilobytes for now so if the file is less than um, or equal to a hundred kilobytes then um, continue else we can put in here echo the file name Let's just do this like this. The file name is too big, and just put a break and put the size is size and needs to be less than 100 kilobytes. Okay, and that's that bit done. Next, we can delete this because we don't need this anymore. The file type is allowed because we know it's allowed. Okay, and if it is correct, then we can echo the file name size is size. That's that done. Control is to save. Come over to here. Refresh. No, let's go back to index.html. Let's find a file which we want, which is logo.jpg, file upload now. Okay, the file, file logo.jpg size is 6259, which means the file size uh, was good enough. It was, it was big enough. Okay, now let's test um, for, let, let me go and get a file that's too big. Okay, now I've got a file that's too big, so it's me jpeg which is 120 I think it was and we upload file now okay the file me.jpg is too big I'm sorry for my grammar grammar uh, the size is 125 um, kilobytes and need to be less than 100 kilobytes okay cool so um, we've now uh, validated the file size which is cool okay what do we need to do now right well inside here we don't care about whether the file size is big enough um, we now need to basically uh, upload this file believe it or not so let's um, move on to actually uploading this file because it's passed all of the tests that we want it to do and we can now upload the file okay uh, first I'm going to correct this grammar file same is too big file size is that and needs to be less than 100 kilobytes okay so what do we do next right well we need a, um, a place uh, where the file is going to go first and if we don't declare uh, a place where it's going to go then it will go to the same level as where the form is so what do we need we need move uploaded file that's the function that we're going to be using um, from PHP and basically it has two uh, parameters inside 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 it of it and one is the temp name um, which is the name of the file and what is the location that it's going to be going to so first of all we need to give it to say the temp name of the file which is temp okay because this is now a binary format of the file that's been uploaded and we need to say well um, what's the location of, of it of it now if we just basically say uh, name that will be on the same level as the index.html the upload.php and so on if we want the file to go into a, um, a folder which I haven't got anyway then we would say um, images um, and then the name of the file okay that's basically it but for the time being all we're going to do is we're going to upload the file 
um, to the same level with the same name. Okay, and what we're going to do is we're going to echo image. Whoops, source equals name, and that's well there, and that's it. So, control S to save. Fingers crossed, and uh, let's go back to here index.html okay let's get a picture of me just because um, which was too big anyway actually so let's get um, logo.jpg file upload now and there it is there's the picture and to show you if I come to here and show you the, um, the actual folder with inside uh, my WAMP as well now you've got logo.jpg and just to show you that this actually does work I'm going to delete this picture from here and come back to index.html and show you once again there is no photo here okay with inside this folder okay and we click it in here again and logo.jpg and show you once more it's still not there and press upload file now and then come to here and as you can see logo.jpg is there okay so that has been uploaded to the web server basically and if we want to make an images folder okay there and we come to here again and we put logo.jpg okay and we come back to our code here now and with inside the name we just put images now control is to save and in here as well we need to say images as well come back to our form and we've got that in here already now file upload and look in here okay in our images folder and there's our photo there okay very very simple it, it does not get harder than that okay now this is obviously working on my computer so it's not having to upload the file to the web server it's not having to worry about um, the speed of your internet connection and so on so it's pretty much instant um, if the file is two, if the file is one, two megabytes, and you allow it, this is going to take uh, maybe a, a ten seconds, twenty seconds, a minute, two minutes. Um, so it, it needs some form uh, of um, other uh, JavaScript, AJAX, or Java to basically process um, how big the file is and how much is uploaded. Well, that's um, a lot of tutorials to do so you're basically just going to have to um, be happy with at the moment letting people upload files uh, to your web server um, that is the tutorial done basically um, you can uh, rename files as well which I'm sure if you look on php.net um, you'll work out about renaming files it's very very simple but all the renaming of files needs to be done here before okay so let's just give an example rename file here okay and it's rename not remain okay and if you actually look at rename and file on PHP you may find something okay okay well that's it this is um, this tutorial done um, I hope uh, you've enjoyed it I hope you've learned something uh, my name is David Thorne please come to www.thornwebdesign.de and subscribe to me there why because if you guys keep on subscribing keep on coming to my website these tutorials will keep coming and the response that I've got at the moment is fantastic and I want it to get better and I want this website to basically flourish with more and more tutorials teaching you everything I have so many ideas that I want to give you, you guys and uh, just please come to me subscribe to me on YouTube as well Okay, well, thanks very much for watching and uh, goodbye.